Today, man, we gonna do a little interview, man. Today we got a special guest. You know, we got a book. We got the book twelve CEO, man. The book twelve starter. The one and only. The one and only. One and only. Dan Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, how you doing today? Good, good. You good. had a good day today. You get. Right, Bucking twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Bucking twelve. Okay. Hey, yeah, it's lit. Um, we got a couple questions today to hear for you, Dan. Um, uh, right. question number one, man, I got for you. What is Buck Twelve, man? Like, what is it? All right, Buck Twelve is a movement. All right, this is something I came up with last year, twenty twenty. Buck Twelve is. Something I I thought really heavy on. I thought about everything I wanted to. So Buck Twelve, when I come up with the name Buck Twelve, I, one of my best friends dead and gone. Every, uh, everybody in the small town knows him. That hung out with me. It was his name we. My mother named him Young Buck, and he's always a part of me. Me and him was close. We almost near death experience. And uh, ever since then, me and him was like just tight. Well, uh, I took that book from him and uh, we're living in the time right now. Everybody's hating the police. And I was also trying to get everybody's attention. So I put Buck in there cause that's my dog. That was my homie. Put him in there and then I put 12 in it because Ooh. everybody's screaming F12 and 12, talking about so, the law, you know? So, so, I put so, it in so there. Buck, when you say Buck, you say that's a close friend and a close homie. So, basically, you're really, Buck is really standing for family. Yes. That's yes. really like. And, that, and that's where we start. That, that's that's why I'm doing this, where we start from. Because this is a family and friend thing. It, people don't get together the way we do around here, man. It, it, it don't happen everywhere. And. That book is for family. That's for gathering, brother. He was white, I was black, and it was you couldn't tell us we weren't brothers. So you got all kinds of race. Every yes, all like, you got a every, lot of every, kind, yes. a lot of races in yes, book twelve. Yes, 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 correct. Family, family can be whoever you let family be. If that person done you right, and you feel like that person will last to the end with you, that's a family member. That's a brother. Or, or a sister, or, or whatever you want to name that person as, you know? That's what it is. Yee, yee, come on, come on. Yeah. All right, I got another question for you. Uh, actually, like, when did when did Book 12 actually start? Like, when, when did you just start started it out? about June of 2020. I had a buddy come to me. He said, hey, man. All this crazy stuff come goes around your place. Why ain't you recording it? And I thought to myself, huh? I don't know, man. Because I'm trying to do everything else. He's like, man, I'm watching this guy on YouTube and he's getting paid for the things he do every day. And I'm like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, man, you really need to get a GoPro and you just need to record everything. I was like, all right. So I just got a wild hair in my ass one day. I'm like, Went up to McDuffie Sporting Goods here in Lake City, and I uh, just walked through the store. I had my little girl with me. Walked through the store, and we was like, let's get some fishing gear and everything. I want to take the kids fishing. I was like, man, I looked at a GoPro. It was a GoPro 8 is when I started it, and they just came out. I'm like, hey, let me get it. I, I just bought it. I bought it, and I went from there with it. And I took the GoPro 8 and I uh, took a year worth of time and I recorded everything we'd done for a whole year. And that was June. So when you, like, you got, so okay. we all, with all the, how, like, how do you get the videos and like, how do you, how do you do all that stuff with just it being you or is it more people involved? I, I, like, I, it's, it's, it's a bunch of people. Everybody puts in a little bit. I don't give a damn. If you know me and you hang out with me, everybody put in their little bit. Uh, whether they dislike this person or that person, it don't matter. They still come in. We all still in come in as one and have a good time. No, we have 
multiple people in our little circle that don't get along with her or don't get along with him and we still all get together and you have know, a you, good time. You, you basically, really nowadays looking at the TV, looking at real life kind of things, you you rarely see that. You rarely yeah, see yeah, yeah, different yeah. different yeah. cultures yeah. coming together yeah. and it's, together it's very and hard. Life. It's very hard to see now, but you know, uh, we're here in Lake City, Florida. I was raised uh, a nice way. I'm proud of the way I was raised because that allowed me to get along with every race and nobody's different. Uh, you got a problem with somebody doesn't mean I have a problem. Let's say That's you fair. got a problem That's with fair. somebody. The way I was raised. Just because you don't like that person doesn't mean I got to dislike that person. No, that person ain't did nothing to me. So I'm going to take this person, even though you tell me, Dan, do not mess with that person. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go by you. I don't care if we're best friends. You, you're, you're basically like, you're going you gonna to do, you're you, going to show I'm, me. You're going to yeah, prove you, to me yeah, that I'm I can't let trust that you. person okay. embarrass himself. I'm not going to listen to you because he, you and him might have had just a little something I don't agree with. You might have got mad at him for something I don't agree with. Yeah. All right, so, and just because you said, oh, I don't deal with this person because he done me like this, but you never told me the real story. You never yeah. told me the yeah. whole story. Yeah. So I can't go by you saying, oh, I'm not going to deal with this person because of what you said. No, I'm going to give that person a chance. Yeah. And... He might be the best. He might be better than you is. You he really, might be you, better than it's, you. It's rare. It's rare, Dan. It's rare. It is very uh, rare out here in this world, 2021, that you can find a group of people, let alone one person. It's a group of people that feels basically the same way. So, like, it, it, it's crazy. But, like, I want to ask you another question i got two more questions left for you okay. but this next question is going to be real it's going to be like it's, it's kind of deep but like it, it, it's it's going it's going to hit a couple pointers I, it's going to let everybody know who you is as a person as dan jones as the man that you became from over the years okay i want the people to know about the ceo the main man the main album scrabble of book 12. all right bring it on so, who is you? Who is me? Me. I'm Dan Jones. Father of seven that I know of. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to push it. But if I got any more out there, y'all ain't talk to me now. Don't talk to me. Uh, y'all ain't talk to me then. Don't talk to me now. All right. <laughs> uh, but I'm Dan Jones. Father of seven. I grew up here in Lake City, Florida. Small town, growing up, we could uh, ride half this town, nothing but dirt roads, nothing but dirt roads. It was dirt roads everywhere in this town. Now it's a whole different thing. We probably had, I'm just going back when I was in high school raising hell, or when my buddy Chris Freilich and Michael Freilich, they was the first people with vehicles. So, uh, oh, I can't even say that, I think Patrick, it was a long, a long line of people. Uh, but we started off probably, I'd say at least 20 shares. It probably wasn't 20 shares in this county. And uh, it was great. It was great. We raised so much hell. We tore up so many dirt roads. We done, we lived, we lived a life. We really lived a life. And me, Dan Jones, father of seven, of friends and family of hundreds and thousands, is just trying to put a little bit of mark on this terrible, you ain't got to say terrible, it. crazy, crazy, crazy ass crazy world, crazy world we live in. Crazy. I just want to make a little bit of mark, and I'm so tired of the race and everything else because. Race is just something that it's mine. It, it's a mind yeah. thing. It's a mind thing because yeah. I I feel like it's a mind thing because yeah. it's like you got all like all kind of people. I, and, and the people we have, and if y'all 
really pay attention and hang out and and look at my videos i have a race of every i have dealt with every kind of people uh deaf blind paralyzed white black when you touch me you are something to me when when i see you got a great heart i don't care what you are you just i tell you one thing you are that's my friend until you do me wrong i'm sitting right there beside you if you need something i'm here for you i'm there for you if i don't have it i'm gonna call up another friend that has it that's the person i am that's who dan jones is i'm out here to help everybody or try to help everybody. I've been burned by thousands of people. Don't matter to me. So I'd rather help somebody and let them burn themselves. And I can say, well, I tried. And instead of saying, no, I'm not gonna. So Dan Jones is somebody that's out here just trying to make a little something in this crazy world. Well, man, a by- A little sense to this crazy by world. By from what, what I've seen, what I know, and just by me doing this interview, man, I tell you right now, I can, I can say, if somebody don't want to be a part of Book Twelve, it's kind of like it's, it's a, it's kind of bad thing because you got kids, you got grown kids, you got autistic, you got, you got all kind of people have, in this, have, in this, I have, I have in a this big group. fan base, and a lot of people got this Book Twelve thing misunderstood. I've had so we, what we multiple. Want, I want you right now, front of the cameras, front of how many other people this video is going to see. I want you to. I want to know. I want to tell you what twelve. twelve stands for, and what I figured out the best way I can put it is because I started this just for a name to catch attention, and then everybody keep asking me, "What does it stand for? What does it stand for?" I didn't mean for it to stand for nothing. When I started, I just wanted to catch attention. Mm -hmm. All right. I wanted red flag. I but wanted when to be it, red when flag. It, when it caught attention. So once it caught attention, happened? I had to come up with something. This is what I came up with. Every day in life, every human being in this world wakes up every day, no matter what, and break one law. I don't give a damn what it is. You break one law a day, every human being. So when you break that law, you know you break that law. And when you do break that law, the only thing you can think of is not to get caught. So what that what I figured I could use buck 12 is buck and 12. That's all you're doing. Every time you break that law, the only thing you want to do is hope you buck 12. And they didn't see it. Buck as in mean don't get caught. That's, a, that's the best way I can put it. Well, y'all heard it here, man. This is, you know, the night of the living. This is straight out the cat's mouth, man. This is Dan Jones, man. I thank you for being here tonight. I thank uh, you for yep. filling everybody in on what this yep, is. Yep. And I, I pray that not, you this, can... My, the thing I have going is not against cops. I have nothing against cops. And uh, again, this is nothing against cops. There is I some mean, good uh, cops, and, and some bad The thing bad about cops. it, I have nothing against cops because... I have had to call the cops on some of my crazy ass baby mamas. And I'm <laughs> glad they done their job. Father of seven. Hey, Buck 12. Tight hey, up. we come. Hey, we going to continue to Buck 12. And I hey. thank you for having you, man. And it's an honor to have you here. It's an honor to see what you're doing and the, the be in that started. movement, man. I know it's more shit to come. Y'all like, follow, subscribe to the YouTube page. Y'all do whatever y'all got to do to get... In the Buck 12 movement, man, this is live from the Buck 12 headquarters with the man himself, Dan Jones. And we out. Buck 12 in you. Yep, yep. <laughs>